Hi, I'm here today at ARC Summit 2017 and I'm going to walk you through a demo of Trust Management Root. This is a demo of AgileSec Trust Management Root. So to give you a first a quick overview about TMR, so the purpose of TMR is to have a root of trust on ARC chips that utilizes Secure Shield as a trusted execution environment. So we will be able to create security domains, provision symmetric and keys and asymmetric certificates. So the symmetric keys will then be used to establish secure channels with TMR. And with the public key certificates, we are able to sign um, software updates and load them to TMR. So the software updates that we use are um, crypto libraries, because InfoSec Global is specialized in agile crypto libraries. So we are able to swap out, um, let's say, vulnerable crypto libraries at, after the chip is deployed. So just to walk you quickly through the process of the demo. So we first assume that a manufacturing key is pre-installed on TMR and also on the client. Then we are able to hand over the ownership to an issuer by creating an issuer security domain and then disable the original manufacturing domain. And then we can provision certificates with which we sign um, crypto libraries that, then, that we can push as updates. And then the application that runs on on Arc on the Arc processor can use these crypto libraries. So to move over to the TMR demo setup, so TMR runs on either NSIM or the Embark starter kit, and one component of it are the crypto libraries. Another component are the security domains that we implement encapsulated in Secure Shield and we also use um, Secure Storage and then during the demo you will see four components that interact with TMR and with other subsystems so we have the TMR client that communicates with TMR over a secure channel we have a PKI subsystem that is used to sign um, crypto bundles and we have the Agile Crypto Management that loads the crypto um, bundles and we have a logging that shows the communication with TMR. So what we actually push as update are um, crypto libraries, Agile Sec Crypto, that's the ISG name for it. So these libraries implement an abstracted API that allows to an application to still use the same abstract API while the crypto itself can change. So in this example here you see the API of a block cipher. And then about the Secure Shield integration. So the domains that we create map to Secure Shield containers and they are um, interaction between containers are enforced with access control and data is product protected within the containers and also the software updates are protected within containers. So in case if there is any problem with any code in there, there won't be any chance, uh, chance to break out and affect any other systems or subsystems of the system. So now we can move to the demo. So what you, what you see here on the top left side, this window shows the TMR client that communicates with TMR upper right part you see the agile crypto management part 
On the lower left part you see the PKI subsystem and on the lower right part you see the logging that comes from the TMR. So I already set up a scenario where we did all the provisioning of symmetric keys and public key certificates. So in this situation we are now ready to load um, a crypto library on TMR. So what I'm doing here is I tell the, um, the crypto management system to load a bundle. So this is now loaded to the client. And then as a next step, we have to sign this bundle that we loaded. We do this in the PKI subsystem. And now we are able to load this um, to TMR. And then on the lower right part, you will see a status code 9000. This is a global platform status code, so that loading was successful. And now the crypto bundle is on the persistent storage encrypted on TMR, and now we can install it by loading it to the main memory. So what this does, it copies it to, an, to a secure shield container that we use for the, for the crypto libraries. We copy it there, we write it there and make it executable. Now on TMR we have an image encryption application that we can feed with an image and this application will use our crypto library to encrypt that image. So we do it like that. And then if we switch over to the file system that we had here. What we see is the picture that we originally had and the encrypted picture. So in this case, unfortunately, the choice of the crypto library wasn't optimal because this is AES ECB mode where you still see the patterns of the, of the image. So what we want to do is we want to replace um, the crypto implementation. So we do this by choosing a different implementation, in this case CBC mode. And now we load that one switch over again to our windows. So first what we do is we disable our old version of the crypto library because it's expired and we delete it from the file system on TMR. Now we can load our new bundle We again sign it and load it to TMR. And then once it's transferred to TMR, you again see the success status code of Global Platform. And we can run the same 
image encryption application again. For a second time. So a new picture was created and you see now by using CBC modes we get really the, the random output that we wanted. So this sh demonstrated the ability of TMR to update crypto libraries um, after deployment of the ARC chip. Thank you for watching. Thank you.